Hey everybody, this is Nick from Canaweld coming at you from our new studio in Vaughan, Ontario today. Uh, today we're going to be starting the first of a three-part series on this machine, the Multiprocess 201 SLM. So I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown on this machine and then we're going to actually going to do some welding with it for each of the processes that it's capable of. So let's just start with the basics. It's a 200 amp multi-process welding machine. It'll do MIG welding, stick welding, and scratch start uh, DC only TIG welding. Another nice part about this machine is that it'll run off a 120 or a 240 uh, volt outlet, which means that you're dual voltage. So if you bought this and you're working at home in your garage or something like that and you don't have access to the 240, you can still use this machine to weld some thinner gauge stuff. So that's nice. It gives you a lot of flexibility there. As well, it's got a really high duty cycle. So if you're working in a shop, like a medium sized fabrication shop, this machine can handle the business too. One thing we're going to do is, I'm going to start off today, we're going to do some MIG welding with it. I'm going to show you uh, how it, the synergistic controls set themselves up. It's really slick. It's going to ask you a few questions about how thick the material is, what wire size you're using, and then the machine is going to set itself for you so that it's balanced perfectly and you don't really have to make any adjustments. It's great if you're learning and it's also great if you're just in a rush because maybe you have a busy fabrication shop and you've got guys jumping from bench to bench, moving from place to place. Everybody welds a little bit different so it's nice to have a machine that can set itself up for you. So I got some eighth of an inch thick uh, mild steel tickets here all set up into a lap joint. I'm going to run through setting this up uh, using the synergistic controls and then we're going to blast off with it and we're going to see what kind of a weld we can lay down for you guys today. And you can take a look for yourself and see with your own eyes what you think about it. All right? Okay, so this is what you're going to see when you turn on the machine. And MIG Synergistic is what we're going to be doing today. But let's just run through it quick. So MIG Synergistic is where it's going to ask you the questions and it's going to set up the machine for you. Oh, MIG Manual is if you're an expert and you're going to set it up for yourself. Here you got your TIG control settings, your stick settings, and then your help. So let's go back to MIG Synergistic and see how easy this is. Let's press the button to enter. What are we going to be doing today? Well, we're going to be welding some FE steel. We got some mild steel made up, so we'll select that. Here you get a quick reminder of where everything should be plugged in, because when you switch over into TIG, you need to swap polarities and that kind of stuff. So now we can see that we're plugged in, everything's good. Today we're going to be running mixed gas. The 035 wire kicking around, so we're going to be using that today. We got our two-step and four-step on the trigger. I am exclusively a two-step guy, so we're going to go into two-step and we're going to be welding with some eighth of an inch thick steel. So great. So now you can see we got 284 inches per minute for our wire speed and we got 19 volts for basically our heat, I like to call it. Uh, you might notice that little blue bar in the center of these, right? Like I mentioned before, everybody welds a little bit different. So you have a window of plus or minus what the machine suggests. And watch what happens when you get outside what it suggests. Ah, your numbers turn red. That means the machine's telling you, you've gone too far. But it is nice to have this little bit of window to play with, because some of us weld a little faster, and some of us weld a little slower. All right, so now we're back to our parameters. We also have our inductance we can play with here, but I'm not too worried about that today. I'm just going to keep it right in the middle. And then if you've forgotten anything, you have a quick rundown of all the parameters you've selected there. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to back it up to me, I'm going to get my gear on, and uh, we're going to do a weld, and we're going to see how well this thing knows its stuff. And we'll see if we get a nice weld out of it. Okay, so we got our machine all set up. Now uh, let's blast off and see how this looks. All right, we're going to bring the camera in nice and close so you can see for yourself. Okay, so as promised, I flipped the ticket around. You guys can get a closer look at this weld. This was my travel direction. This was that huge ugly tack I started out on, so I was a little wonky. And then we ran all the way down. As you can see, I was moving a little bit too slow, and I piled up some of my weld, 
what I could have done was move faster, or remember like I was explaining uh, with the presettings, you have that factor of 15 that you can turn them up and down. So for me, if I want to keep moving slow, I probably should have gone ahead and turned down that wire speed by probably a factor of five. But all in all, it's a nice looking MIG weld. It'll definitely hold. Good to go. Okay, so that wraps it up for our first video on the uh, multi-process 201 SLM. Like I said, today was the MIG welding portion. Next week we're going to film some stick and then we're going to film some TIG with it. I'm satisfied with the way my MIG weld went today. I thought the machine balanced it really, really nicely, although I find it did balance it for a guy who moves a bit quicker than me. I got a little bit of pile up on my weld like I was explaining, so if it were me, next time I think I might turn it down by maybe a factor of five on the wire speed so I can get a bit more flatness. But all in all, awesome. Came out great and I'm really happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave your questions, comments, concerns, anything you want down below. If you like this so far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you really like it, we could use some more subscribers. Thanks a lot and I'll catch you guys next week.